There are 13,000 business schools in the world. In 2018, a quarter of all university students were studying business. You might think this means that lots of research and teaching is relevant to global problems. But this is not true. I think that business schools are part of a system that produces inequalities within and between nations, a lack of democratic control, and is unable to deal with climate change. Business schools teach that corporations are the best organisations, that growth is good and that management is always needed. The emphasis on corporations means that they teach that other forms of organisation are less efficient and innovative and that shareholder value is the most important driver. Success means growth, whether of number of employees, customers or profits. Students are taught that all organisations need people who specialise in controlling others because ordinary people cannot manage themselves. But what does this leave out? Businesses that are owned by communities or workers. Small businesses that serve particular places but don't want to grow. Businesses that are organised around different values. These are the sorts of organisations we're going to need if we want to make a high democracy, low carbon and high inclusion economy in the future. I think that business schools need to be replaced by schools for organising. These schools would teach an experimental approach to organising, learning from other places and times, not assuming that what currently works for a corporation can help us face our collective future. Schools for organising will teach about co-ops, communes, circuses and zoos, criminal gangs and social movements. They won't just teach about how to make corporations grow and make shareholders wealthy. We've learned from studying other times and places that people produce all sorts of solutions to their problems. We need to understand organising as a diverse activity and learn from indigenous knowledges and ancient civilizations, as well as the utopian dreams of idealists. Business schools encourage students to think that they should approach the future with the same tools that have created those problems. We need a different understanding of the global economy now. We need new ways of thinking about the local and about growth. We must question that business is for private gain and the encouragement of consumption. And we must introduce new faces into the conversation so that the world does not continue be, to be run by the male and the pale. And only then will we have a form of education that's able to meet the challenges that face us all. Schools that teach us how to organise. <laughs>